Hello Steamians, my name is Andrew Levine. I'm the content director for Steemit, and tomorrow I will be flying to Krakow, Poland, where I will be attending Steamfest 3 and interviewing two amazing members of the Steam community, Ned Scott on day one, the CEO of Steemit, and Yabba P. Matt, technical co-founder of Steam Monsters. That'll be on day two and so in anticipation of these panels i just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and then what we hope to accomplish with these really q a slash interview sessions i have a legal background i went to law school and was barred in new york and new jersey for anyone not from america that means i was a legal practitioner of law in the united states uh, but i chose to not practice law and instead went into real estate, real estate management, investment. I became an investor. And then I started my own company, a company called GiverHub, which was an online platform that uh, enabled anyone to search for, learn about, and donate to any nonprofit in the US. I really wanted to make it easier for uh, nonprofits to create online communities with their users where they could engage with one another and transfer value really efficiently and effectively and make the practice of giving back fun. And during that process, I encountered many technological challenges, which led me to look into cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. And in fact, we even kind of hacked together a Litecoin clone integration into that site. And this is probably over five years ago now. So that's how I got my introduction into the cryptocurrency and blockchain world. I then eventually became a content creator on steamit.com just a couple of months, if, if that, uh, after the launch became one of the most successful content creators on the platform thanks to the generous upvotes of Steemians like yourselves. And after about six months or so doing that, I was brought into Steemit Inc. as their community liaison, where I would interface with the community and help make sure that their voice was heard within the company. After doing that, I was made content director, and that's what I've been doing for the last year or so within the company, uh, telling the story of what we're trying to build and how we're trying to accomplish uh, our vision for the future of a tokenized internet and building amazing communities on the internet through the use of blockchain and cryptocurrency technology. That's what I've been up to. That's my background. On day one of Steam Fest, I will be talking to Ned Scott. We will be answering some questions that the community has provided. We asked for those in, in a Steemit blog post, and we're gonna try to pick the most representative questions and the most insightful questions and, and hear Ned's thoughts on those. We're also gonna try to explore some of the insights that he's gained as an entrepreneur within the blockchain space. Very few people have created real companies like Steemit uh, on top of a blockchain. And so I'd like to pick his brain for anything he's learned from uh, building a company from just a few blockchain developers to now dozens of developers, uh, a communications team, a marketing team. Most of those people will actually be attending Steamfest with me. That's the team that I really work with and they're great. I can't wait for you all to meet them. Then on day two, I'm going to be talking to Yabba P. Matt, Matt Rosen of Steam Monsters. And what we really want to focus on is what he's learned in his experience working for multiple startups, how he integrated that knowledge into their business logic so that Steam Monsters could launch quickly, successfully, and, and grow rapidly and, and, and generate revenue so that they could continue building the application and the business out. I'm really excited uh, to conduct these interviews. I'm excited to see everyone at Steamfest. Steamfest has a very special place in my heart because I've been to every Steamfest, Steamfest 1 and Steamfest 2, and I think they're really 
invigorating or reinvigorating because we spend so much of our time focusing on what's broken and what needs to be fixed and the the improvements are so incremental that you have trouble really seeing them over the course of the year and so i find that steam fests are a great opportunity to look back at everything we've accomplished and really appreciating how much we've been able to do in so little time, how much we've already disrupted the attention economy and, and social media on the internet. And then of course, look at what we haven't yet accomplished and start planning for the next year about how we can do that. And, and I think that when we come together in Krakow and, and look back at the last year, we'll see just how much progress we've been able to make. And it's just, it's just gonna be super fun and super exciting. I can't wait to see everybody there. Can't wait to see everybody at the panel. And I look forward to meeting as many of you as I possibly can.